Hello everyone, my name is Song Zhang. I would like to share our recent work on behalf of all authors. The title of our paper is Exploring LoRa for Long Range Throw Wall Sensing. This is the outline of this talk. It consists of five parts. So let's begin with the background and the motivation. Various signals has attracted a significant amount of attention in recent years, and various wireless signals have been explored for contact sensing, including Wi-Fi, RFID, FMCW radar, ultrasound, 660 GHz radar, UWB, and visible light. Many new applications have been enabled, such as localization, activity recognition, data sign monitoring, and etc. While promising in many aspects, one key limitation of current wireless sensing technologies is the short range sensing range. The table shows the sensing capability of existing wireless technologies in terms of operational range and throwaway capability. So we can see that the long range throwaway sensing is still missing. This work explores new uh, opportunities to significantly increase the sensing range with the introduction of LoRa. LoRa is one of the major low power and wide area network technologies that aim to sustain connection between uh, among IoT devices over a long distance. The transmission range can be up to a few, a few kilometers in urban areas. LoRa devices operate in license-free radio bands and have a low cost. So we want to ask, can we use LoRa to achieve long-range contact sensing? Next, let's see how to utilize LoRa for sensing. LoRa adopts the chirp spread spectrum modulation technique, which encodes data as frequency varying chips. The chirp waveform can be represented as this equation, where f is the central frequency, k is the sweep rate of the chirp, b is the bandwidth, and t is the chirp duration. We analyze the received signal when the target moves. We obtain the received signal as the RT. The signal consists of two parts. The former part is frequency changing band signal and phase error. The later part is the signal change induced by target movement. So we need to remove the chirp band signal and the phase error. Notice that the lower gateway is typically equipped with two antennas, and the two antennas share the same clock and thus have the same phase offset. So we employ the ratio of the received signals to eliminate the errors. Thus, we can successfully obtain the sensing signals for target moments with accurate amplitude and phase. Then we can calculate the distance and the orientation of the moving target. By measuring the phase change, we obtain the moment distance. And by measuring the phase rotation direction, we obtain the moment orientation. Next, we conduct an extensive empirical study to investigate the LoRa sensing capability. We built a LoRa sensing prototype, which is composed of one LoRa transmitter and one LoRa receiver. The LoRa transmitter is semantic product with an Arduino board. LoRa trans uh, gateway is based on USRP and the GNU radio. So for long for LoRa long range sensing, we consider both small scale motion and large scale motion in our experiments. We place the mantle plate at a distance of 10 meters to uh, 15 meters at a stop size of 5 meters from the transceivers. We can see that LoRa signal is capable of sensing even a subtle uh, movement uh, 5 mm at a distance of 25 meters away. We also studied the LoRa sensing granularity 
and the impact of various, various factors. Here, because of time, uh, so if you, you are interested, please refer to our paper. Finally, we demonstrate the two sensing applications. The demo shows that human respiration can be sensed when the target at 25 meters away. And human tracking can also be accurately tracked uh, even when the target is uh, 70 meters away from the transceivers. So in summary, uh, our work explores the sensing model, techniques, and applications of LoRa to achieve long-range thrower sensing. We believe the proposed LoRa sensing system could enable a large range of new applications. So thanks for your attention.